Hi, in this video, I'd like to show you how to adjust the website to the screens of mobile devices using WebWave Website Builder. We're going to do this in two ways, manually and with a little help of an automatic setup system. Let's get started. In the previous video, we used a template and personalized it by adding a few elements. The next thing that we have to do is to adjust our website to different view sizes. If we click here, we can see how the website looks depending on different screen types. We can also change that with sliders. Every template is already adjusted to mobile devices, but the elements that we added manually on desktop view may not be placed correctly in the mobile ones. So let's fix that. We should start by grouping elements and by that sectioning the website. It's gonna make our life so much easier, trust me. Let's select those elements and in the layers panel group them by clicking this button. Great. And now let's repeat that for other elements. Every group of elements that we've just created is displayed as the folder in the layers panel. Now it's time to set the relationship between the groups. It means that we are going to decide which group will be on top, at the bottom and how they are supposed to push off one another. To do this, let's select the group, click bound objects and now by clicking plus button, let's create binds between sections. And here's an important part. Before you start working on responsiveness of your website, don't forget to make a backup copy of this page. Then you can experiment without the need to worry about losing your progress. We did this just in case of anything going not as planned. Okay, now let's move on to this amazing feature, set up the elements automatically. Here, we can decide where we want the system to make changes. Maybe only on a specific subpage or only in a tablet view. It's up to you. Today, we would like to make changes on every page and in every type of view. So let's choose whole website and click set automatically. As I speak, the builder is working hard and setting every view. It's done. Now, let's see what we've got here. I don't know about you, but I think it looks pretty amazing. Most of the page is well done, but we can still refine a few things. Let's move the menu icon and down below, let's push this part of the testimonial section a little further down. In the next screen size option, let's center the text. It's worth noting that changing the text doesn't influence how our website looks in a tablet mode. Changes are implemented only on lower levels of screen sizes. It's a great feature. I think here everything looks fine, so let's go to another view and once again set every element so that mobile users won't get scared when they visit our website. Let's change the size of the font in the header and downsize the site list. Great. Down there, there's the newsletter form and I think the font should be smaller here too. Okay, it's done. Now let me show you an advanced option, manual setting of elements. Let's restore the backup version of our website and get things done. Choose tablet view and adjust the buttons. Width and height of the buttons set to 300, much better. As you can see, thanks to the groups of elements that we made at the beginning of our video, every section moves automatically and set distance between elements is kept. Amazing. Let's do another view type. On the mobile phone, I prefer the buttons to be set one under another. There's no problem with that, since in WebWave, I can move elements around with one pixel precision. In the testimonial section, the background is a bit too low. Let's fix that real quick. Perfect. Let's also adjust the website for a vertical mobile view. Here, all we need to do is center the elements. That's it. I love how quick that was. Now our website looks great not only on a desktop. As you can see, it wasn't hard. We managed to adjust our website to mobile screen sizes very quickly. The responsive web design automatic setup feature works perfectly fine. In the next video, I'll show you how to use interactions and animations. And you guessed it, it's all gonna happen in less than five minutes. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.